in the all rich Albertine region of Uganda is Kakinda village in Bulisa district. Before all activities began here in 2009, most of the land was communally owned. This made it an easy target for land grabbers and in the oil industry. Before the discovery of oil, here land was communal. If you could come from any place and they give you where to build, it was just communal land. But when oil was discovered in Ubilisa, that's where we have got uh, the highest state of, of land grabbing, land conflicts and so on. The other challenge for these communities is the government policy of encouraging farmers to grow lab-improved seed varieties. The government claims that these hybrids are high-yielding, pests and disease-resistant. Some community members, however, tell of a different experience. We have seen that these seeds which are being brought in by the government, uh, they have brought us problems. They have brought us uh, food insecurity because they are rooting too much. So the ones which are brought, we think that they will work better because they are the very indigenous foods which are our grounds used at plant. With that experience, the communities eagerly embraced the Food Sovereignty Campaign, being spearheaded by the National Association of Professional Environmentalists. At the center of the campaign is the revival of growing of indigenous seed varieties. When communities are fully in charge of poor production and distribution processes, they will attach value to their land. And when they attach value to their land, they not easily give in the land grabbers. NAPE, through its sustainability school program, creates platforms for communities to learn together and get joint solutions for emerging challenges. Uh, we create awareness and especially um, on oil issues, on climate change yeah, impacts. So we know in Uganda has discovered oil and uh, the, the industry is now about to boom. To the stakeholders, the uh, government, uh, civil society, uh, communities um, and the rest of Ugandans, let them not very much focus on oil industry.